Hi, I want to show you how to download some of the video players that we may need for our class. And the two that I want to download and demonstrate for you are QuickTime and uh, Real Player. These are two of the, the biggest ones, Real Player probably the biggest, and actually Flash, uh, which you don't need to download because it's all um, bundled together. So when you look at a Flash movie, um, you don't need to necessarily do anything special for that. So um, let's go online here. And uh, since I'm a Mac user, uh, my page comes up right at the Apple page. But what you would do is you would type in, you could just go to Apple, dot Apple. you don't even have to type the com, and that would bring you to the Apple website. Or you could do a Google search and just type in QuickTime. I think it's one word. And here's the uh, some QuickTime downloads. QuickTime is produced by Apple, so I would definitely go to the Apple site. Yep, I can see that it's apple.com QuickTime download. Now it depends what kind of uh, system you have. Right now, my Mac uh, is sending information, cookies, to Apple saying that uh, this is a, a, an a Mac, Apple product. So it already tells me that it's going to uh, download to my system. But you can get uh, QuickTime players uh, that are responding to your, your Vista or your PC-based uh, computers. So you'd make sure that uh, you are at the right page. All of these are for, for Apple. And uh, I have the latest, which is the Leopard system. And so, let's see. Am I Leopard or am, let me check that. About this Mac. Uh, the latest one is, 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 Operating System 10, Leopard. So, okay, so I found that out. Oh, I don't want to close that window. Okay, so I would want to go for Leopard. And I would just click it. Oh, I have to click down here. I'd have to put my email address in here. And then I would do my free download. And once it's downloaded, it would uh, ask me to uh, verify that uh, I do want to download and open it. And um, let me see, I'll show you how this is done. Verifying. Your screens are gonna look a little different if you're on a, a, a PC versus that. And then I would continue through uh, these various steps in order to uh, install. But as I say, since I have QuickTime already loaded in the latest one, I don't need to do that. So there we go. Now the other, so that, that installs QuickTime. And what you would do is put QuickTime into your application folder. Um, I also, um, when I launch QuickTime, here I'm going to my applications. This is what it looks like in a Mac. But you can see that I have QuickTime right here. And when I launch it, so here it shows me it's launched and here I have it down. You can follow my arrow to the bottom right corner. The QuickTime player shows up in my little site. And so I can just get out of that screen and then I can start to open files and uh, if you are clicking on my lectures, which are QuickTime lectures, it will automatically uh, look for the QuickTime application and, and open it up. So that's how to download QuickTime. Now, let's say I have this uh, on my website or you want to look at it. Um, I'm, I'm going to need Real Player in order to play it. So if I will click uh, Video Runtime. And down here in the left hand corner, the videos in MIT World require Real Player. There are instructions for down in our help section. So if I click click here, it will get me to real for 
So at www.real.com, you could just put R-E-A-L into your URL like this, and it would still get me to the same spot. And I could actually put real player in my search window, and it comes up as the first, first spot. So it already has identified, um, again, that I'm on a Mac, and it tells me um, I get a free trial with this one. No, I don't want that one. I want to go up here to get Real Player 11 for free. And, and uh, if you're on a PC, it will recognize it, that you're on a PC, and then you would do your free download. Don't get any of the other versions. You want the free download. You don't want the trial, 30-day trial download. You want the free download. And again, you would just follow it. Um, there's a whole bunch of sites where these are located. I'll just go to the top one in Seattle since I live here in California. It should be really fast. Look at that. Okay, and so I have this. And it's an application. I'm okay. I know I've downloaded from a secure. I can accept all the requirements and streaming network available. Da, 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 flash video has all this stuff. I can even ask it to play a QuickTime movie and MPEG and AVI folders. And I want to see QuickTime movie on QuickTime and configure. And it wants me to quit my application. So I don't want to add the agent. And now I've installed a real player and you can see it. It wants me to make sure that I'm installed. Thanks for using our next generation real gives me a little blurb and there's things I can do once either with QuickTime or Real Player. I can enlarge it by just dragging it. I can turn up the volume down here. Um, I can advance it. I can stop it. I can um, rewind it. It tells me information how big this file is and then it lasts for 16 seconds. And I can up here, I can make it smaller. I can expand it to the whole <laughs> window by, for me, pressing escape. I can shrink it back down. And I don't know what I'm going to get with this one. I don't know. But once you have this loaded and it's in your uh, applications or program file folder, then whenever you go to MIT, and where did my MIT go? Let me bring that up again. Actually, I have it bookmarked here so let's go to, to MIT world and when I want to go to that um, list of things on on technology which there, by the way there's stuff on education which is appropriate to us and uh, here's a video I've looked at and I can play it say that I want it. I have broadband, so I want it very fast. 56K is your dial-up. So you're probably going to be catching, if you have DSL or broadband, at the 220 level. And you can play it. And here...